Good morning and happy Easter from the middle of the ocean. It's Easter on board my 21 day Africa cruise and I'm gonna take you guys along today for whatever celebrations we're having here for Easter or just maybe for this regular sea day that I'm gonna bring you guys on. The sun is shining, the water is the most beautiful color of blue and we are on our way to our last African port of Senegal. We have a sea day today and a sea day tomorrow because unfortunately, long story, but they had to cancel Gambia. So we are on our way. I'm gonna take you guys along on this sea day today. I'm wearing this cute little dress from Free People to start off our morning. We missed breakfast because we slept in, but it's time to go get a coffee and maybe a little sweet treat before we grab some lunch. Lunch is also not ready yet, which is why we're grabbing coffee and a sweet treat first, <laughs> and we have to wait until lunch is ready to be served. But welcome to this wonderful sea day and happy Easter. We're here at the Java Cafe getting our coffees. We both ordered an iced caramel macchiato with an extra shot of espresso. I had it yesterday, it was so good. And this is the Starbucks. Thank, Thank you. Look at how amazing these look. Yum. We've spent some time on deck seven drinking our coffees in the little Starbucks lounge area and now we're gonna head up to lunch. We love doing the sit down lunch here on the ship that we are very grateful to have access to up in Moderno. So we're gonna head up there and get some lunch because we haven't eaten anything today. We've just had our coffee so we are hungry. Lunch today, I chose the shrimp Caesar salad because I have been like craving this every day. It's so good. I'm accompanying it, my side of french fries and ketchup because I just have to. Also trying to save some room for dessert today because we've heard so many of the desserts are amazing and I've only had the pavlova once, which I would totally have again. So a little bit of a lighter lunch so we can have dessert. Because neither of us today got Easter baskets with candy in them, so desserts for lunch it just makes up for it. We just got a knock on our door and they brought us the cutest little Easter dessert. Are you kidding me with the little bunny bum? And also a plate of chocolates. I was hoping for a sweet treat. So this just made my whole afternoon, but I cannot get over how cute this is. I took off all of my rings, earrings, necklaces, jewelry, all of it, and threw on just this little romper that I wore the other day because it's a little dirty. And we are heading off to a 75 minute hot stones couples massage. We got such a great deal on it. And so we literally booked it yesterday for 4.30 today. And we're about to head over to the spa to go get our massages so let's go here we are filling out some paperwork we're here in the couple's massage spa room we are about to get changed and ready for our 75 minute hot stone massage so i will see you guys after So we're back in the room from our treatments. I body showered and I just threw on this before we get ready for dinner today. I have a couple things to do on my computer. We're gonna hang out a little bit before it's time to get ready. Try and take some like sunset Easter pictures and we have a fun dinner reservation for tonight. But I do know in the beginning of this video, I mentioned about how Gambia was canceled. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an explanation of what happened. Austin and I actually ended up missing two of the six African ports. So I wanna give you guys a little bit of a story time and catch you up with what happened. So the first incident, which I posted on TikTok and Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me on my other social medias, you would have no idea that when we stopped in Cote d'Ivory or the Ivory Coast, we were not allowed to get off the ship. Now, anybody who had a shore excursion made it off the ship and a couple of passengers who got off right away made it off the ship, but we didn't. Essentially what happened is that they had these shuttle buses that were taking us out of the gates and into the city. A lot of the times when you port at these African ports, they're not built up tourist ports. They aren't really made for tourists. They're more made for shipping containers so we get on shuttles and we head into the city center and it's really no problem at all. But in Cote d'Ivory, right before we were about to get off the ship. So let me paint you a little bit of a picture too. We pulled into port late because there was a shipping container in our spot that hadn't left on time. So we did have to wait. So by the time I got into port, they were rushing off anybody who had shore excursions because the buses were already ready to take the guests off. So because we didn't book a shore excursion, we had to wait to get off the ship. And by the time that they called all the people who could just get off the ship, you know, free and willy, if you didn't have anything booked, 
you could get off. I said, hey, let's wait 15 minutes or so. Let's let all the crowds of people get off and then we'll get off the ship, which is honestly where we made a mistake. And I never thought that something like that would be a mistake. Usually I don't get off right when they tell us they can get off because it's a madhouse down there. So most of the people who went down right away were able to get off and get into the city. But it came to a part of when we went downstairs, honestly, 15, 20 minutes later after they called clear for anyone else who wasn't on a shore excursion to get off, there was a line inside and I was like, oh, this line isn't moving. But one of the security guards came in and he said, hey guys, we're not letting you out just yet. Stay in the air conditioning because it's so hot. We're waiting for the shuttle buses to come back. So as soon as the shuttle buses come back, we'll get you guys off. But they were just basically trying to minimize everyone's time in the heat because some of the older passengers were really struggling with the heat in our previous port in Sao Tome. So we said, okay, yeah, this makes sense. So we're chit-chatting with the people around us and all of a sudden the shuttle buses came back. But the shuttle bus that left full of people came back full of people and the guards at the gate decided they were no longer letting any more tourists out unless they had a police escort and in the country of Cote d'Ivory a police escort essentially means that we had to bribe the guards at the gate to let us out to have a police escort into the city and essentially Norwegian deemed it wasn't safe and they stopped allowing people off the ship we could have technically walked off the ship for like the next 10 minutes and walked around the dusty area but we just decided to go back up and call it a sea day so actually most passengers ended up getting off off and being able to go into the city but we didn't and that was such a bummer for us so we were really looking forward to Gambia a couple days later and the day before we were supposed to dock in Gambia we got the sad news that the tides were gonna be too low for our ship to dock in Gambia they actually had already switched our Gambia port times two different times before trying to base it off of when the ship was gonna be able to not only pull into the port but pull out to the port I was wondering why we weren't tendering at this port but I guess it wasn't a possibility so we were really trying to time it with the tides and the waves to be able to get our ship in and out of port in a timely manner and unfortunately the day before they just decided that it wasn't going to be able to give us enough time in port because the tides were changing i don't know much about tides and weather but i honestly was a little shocked by this so our gambia day tomorrow has turned into a sea day before we get to senegal definitely a bummer because we had such a fun excursion booked in gambia and we were really looking forward to it honestly one of the main countries i really wanted to visit in africa but i guess that just means that we're gonna have to come back at some time so all in all not every pass passenger missed getting off in Cote d'Ivory. That was just something on us and it was literally within like a 10 minute window that we would have made it or not. So a big bummer and also a big bummer with Gambia but I do know that the captain and crew have our best interests at heart so I know if we're not docking somewhere or if they say hey we're ceasing disembarkation from the ship into Cote d'Ivory. I know they're not just doing that to do that. It's all for our safety so totally understand but wanted to give you guys the update on that. But so far it truly has been such an amazing cruise. Very excited for our last African port and then heading up to the Canary Islands in Spain so it should be a really good time. Hope you guys are enjoying some of these sea day vlogs and port day vlogs and I'm going to continue bringing you guys along on all the fun. So now time to relax a little bit more before we get ready for our fun Easter dinner plans tonight. Ready to go to dinner. Going to try and catch the sunset for some photos so the room's a bit messy because we're trying to rush out of here. Curled my hair after the massage. Put in some earrings. Princess Polly. This dress is from Fortunate One Store and then I've got my Dolce Vita heels that I've been wearing. So the goal is sunset photos and heading over to Teppanyaki for our 715 reservation. Teppanyaki is like where they cook in front of you. So that's what we have for dinner tonight and that is our Easter Sunday dinner meal. So let's go. Here is the menu for tonight. Our signature cocktails. It already comes with miso soup and salad and then you get to pick an entree. You can do like a single meat option or tofu or they have combination options which is always good. I'm leaning more toward chicken and udon noodles, which I never really do. I usually go for a shrimp or like the chicken and shrimp. But I think that this sounds good tonight. And then here are the desserts. And then here we are. Welcome to the moose. Very, very quiet. All right, right now, my name is Dan, and I'll repeat the other ship for tonight, all the way from Philippines, okay? Right now, hey! Opa! 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 Down, 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 Hello! 
pretty woman, walking down the street, pretty woman. She can fly, I believe I can fly. I want her for my best friend. Alright. Hey, mom, ready for your rice, ma'am? Hey, go, mom, for you. Now for tonight, huh? <laughs> uh, for the boy next door, Japanese mosquito here, all the way downstairs, time for time. Truly the most fun dining experience at sea. If you ever happen to go on a cruise, see if they have teppanyaki and try it out because it is always a highlight on the trip. They just happen to have the most fun jobs, best workers. We absolutely loved it and now I have no idea where we're going next. Potentially the casino because that's kind of how our nights end here. We ended up talking to a really sweet couple and we missed the nine o'clock show. And so now we're just gonna figure out what we're doing for us tonight. I thought we were going to the saxophone show. Now I need to find other plans. We're ending our Easter night just playing some games in the room. I got this game from Target before we left called the Couples Game that's actually fun. It's basically like little questions that you answer and you each write an answer on the whiteboard. The categories are you try and match, whoever has the best answer, or it's a me or you category. So that's that and we played a little bit of blackjack in here but this is how we are spending our Easter night yeah. Yeah. One step 